<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a jailbroken PlayStation 3, how you can play PS2 games on it using mana guns. Now, I've done a video over this before in which I was using the Webman feature here in Multiman, However, I decided to do this because Mana Guns was actually recommended quite a bit due to performance increases and overall better compatibility. Mind you, it's still going to be far from perfect and it's not like this is going to play every single PS2 game out there, but this will work with all jailbroken PS3s. So this is going to assume, of course, you have a jailbroken PS3 and you have a basic understanding of how to use it. If you do not have a jailbroken PS3 and you're wanting to look into that, I do have multiple tutorials available showing you how to jailbreak a PS3 on different firmwares, which I'll have linked down below in the description at least to the latest one. You're also going to need to have a way of networking your PS3 to your network. I have mine hardlined in and I'm going to be doing FTP transfers to it, which is why I'm mentioning this. Finally, having a flash drive would also be helpful because we're going to be transferring over the application to install. So let's go ahead, move over to the PC and see what we'll need. Over at the PC, first of all, look down below in the description of this video to download Mana Guns. Download the latest release of it by going to the Mana Guns PKG and downloading that from whatever the latest release version is. Now for my own needs, I do use WinSCP for FTP. If you want to use this, there's going to be a link down below in the description, which I can recommend. Uh, although you might use something different such as FileZilla, I'm going to be using and recommending WinSCP. Now, once you have your flash drive available, you are going to need to make sure it's formatted to FAT32, which mine is already. So you can just go into the flash drive and copy and paste your mana guns package file to the root of the flash drive and that's about all you're going to need on that front with that loaded up on the flash drive let's go ahead right click eject it and then pop the flash drive into our playstation 3. when you're over at the ps3 go to package manager after you have your flash drive plugged in go to install package files standard and mana gun should show up which you can just press x on and give it a few moments to install Once that's complete, press back. You can take out your flash drive if you want to, but from here, I recommend opening up Multiman. Once Multiman is open, if you want to see where you're supposed to FTP to, go ahead, go all the way over to settings and system information. And as you can see, your IP address should show up there, which is where we're going to be remoting to. So keep that in mind and let's go over to the PC and get some games transferred over while Multiman stays open. Once you open up WinSCP, type in your host name, which mine is 192.168.1.177. The FTP protocol is going to be what we'll be using. Port 21 is fine and you can do anonymous login with no encryption. So press login. And as you can see, it's going to bring up a few folders here and the one we want is dev hdd0. Inside of here, there should be a few folders such as PS2 ISO, PS3 ISO, etc. The one we're wanting is PS2 ISO. If you do not have PS2 ISO, you can simply create a folder here of that same name. So get into PS2 ISO, and this is where we're going to be putting our PS2 games, depending on what format you have them in. So on the left should be your PC. Navigate over to where you have a game available. So here's a few games that I have just ripped over for this demonstration here. Uh, the first one, I'll go ahead and grab Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. And to transfer this, all you need to do is right click and upload, hit OK, and let it transfer over. This will take a few minutes here. Now, this method here is assuming you have some PS2 games ripped and available. However, if you do not know how to do that, I can show you that real quick as well. The program I utilize is ImageBurn for this, which you can download down below in the description from any of these links here and install it on your PC. From there, once you open up ImageBurn, you can just go to create image file from disk. Wait for this to load up, and this is my copy of Nights into Dreams that I've loaded up here. Now I've ripped it over already, but essentially all you'd need to do is pick where you want to save this file. And once you have it named and everything, you can set your speeds to maximum if you just want to rip it as soon as possible. That's what I don't mind. And then you can just click this button here to read it over. Once it starts reading, 
it should take a few minutes to rip over to your PC, and then you'll have the ISO available. But we have this ripped already, so I'm gonna cancel this. Now we have one of our games completed. I'm also going to transfer over that copy of Nights into Dreams, simply because it is a Japanese game, and I'd like to show a import game working on this console as well. I know the PS3 side of things is region free, but PS2 for the most part was still region locked, even on backwards compatible systems. So one nice thing with doing this is you are able to bypass the region restriction. So now with this finishing up, this should be done here. There we go. I think we have a couple games that we can test out at this point. Once you're done, you can simply disconnect from here, and then we can go over to the PS3 and continue onwards. Once you're back over at your PS3, navigate to the retro section. You can hit refresh, and as you can see, your game should now be showing up here. Uh, if you did not put them in the right place, they're not going to show up, but if you did put them in PS2 ISO, they'll be showing up where they need to go. However, we will not be loading them up through Multiman, so let's go ahead and quit out of Multiman. Once you've quit out, navigate up to Mana Guns and launch it for the first time. Now here it's going to share a little bit of a look with uh, Multiman, but it's going to navigate about the same here. And a few things you can do, first of all if you press the start button, you can access the settings for it in general here if you want to play around with anything. I'm going to press back. And if you want to here, you can select any of your games. If you're running into issues, press the triangle button to enter the game menu. And you're able to do a few things such as enable widescreen if you want to, enable 480p, which actually I definitely want to enable 480p on that. I think I'm going to enable FMV skip as well too, because I think it has that on here when I've at least tried it on other systems like the PS2. But you can press back, which will save everything. And from there, you can just pick whichever game you want to play. So for example, on here, I'm going to go into Nights into Dreams. I'll go and enable 480p on this, because I want that. Go back, and press the X button to mount your game. Once that's done, you should have a PlayStation 2 format disc show up here. Before you launch it though, if you have not done this, make sure you go up to your save data utility or your memory card utility. Press X and create a PS2 memory card, which is easy enough. You just go to create new internal memory card and create one for PS2. Since I've created one, I'm not too worried about that, but all you need to do is go down to PlayStation 2 format disc and press X. After a few seconds, it should prompt you, hopefully, to press the PlayStation button. And here I'm just going to assume a bit. There we go. And as you can see, this is working so far. So this is my copy of Nights into Dreams that I have ripped over and is now playable on the system. On top of that, if you want to tweak any of the settings here, you can press the PlayStation button. You can change your controller settings, your other software settings, such as if you want to turn smoothing on, if you want to change how this is looking here, like full screen or normal, or even just off. I'm going to put this to full screen here and the reset the game if you need to. But yeah, that's about it on here, so this is how everything's working. I keep forgetting that X and Circle are changed around. But that's about it for Nights into Dreams at least, so again, showing that a NTSC J game is working on here just fine. Now, I've tried this out a bit, it seems to be working fine for me. The reason why I didn't use a flash drive method, for example, is because I know Mana Guns does play games off of flash drives from what I've seen. However, I personally had no luck with it. I personally had the best luck when I was transferring my games directly to the PS3's hard drive and popping them into the PS2 ISO folder. Not so much when I was trying to run the games off of a flash drive, which is why I recommend this method here. Now, occasionally, here's another thing. If you try and play a game and it says you are not using a PS2 configuration file, sometimes it might just say this here, so you can press X to enter and it will create a configuration file for that PS2 game. Now, here's another game. It was actually Liberty City Stories I was doing that with, and unfortunately, when I tried to play around with the settings, uh, it was not launching properly, it wasn't displaying properly, so I did have to disable the Enable 480p option, and I just decided to disable the other option I changed. But even checking this out here, as you can see, it is loading and working just fine. And again, if we want to tweak any of the settings here, you can either do it in Mana Guns before you boot up the game, or while you're in-game, you could use the default PS3 settings pretty easily, 
just by pressing the PlayStation menu or PlayStation button and adjusting everything from here. But so far this is looking okay, so let's get in game. So there we go, one mission passed already. This game does not perform the best, but mind you it is still completely playable on here through the PS2 emulation, so again, that's it working. There might be some games that will work properly, others won't, but you just have to play around with the settings on here. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. But if you are going to play around with this, let me know what PS2 games you plan on playing on your Joe Broken PS3 through Mana Guns.